It's story time, it's story time. Let's go take a look. We'll read a story and answer some questions. Now let's dive into our book. Hi friends, it's Miss Andy again. Guess what? I have a new story for you today. It's the book called The Gruffalo. The author or the person that wrote the words is Julia Donaldson. And the illustrator or the person that drew the pictures is Axel Shuffler. Why don't we clap out the title, Gruffalo? You ready? Gruffalo. Ooh, how many syllables? Gruffalo. Oh, did you count three? Great job. Okay, and today we've got something kind of cool. We have a storyboard where we can tell the story. So while Miss Andy reads it, you're gonna see what happens. Our story takes place in the forest. So we have the forest up here with all the trees. And this story has lots of magic words in it. So when a magic word comes up that we might not know what it means, Miss Andy will help you, okay? A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. Hmm, stroll. I wonder what that means. Stroll, that's another word for walking without being in a hurry. I bet you take a stroll sometimes with your family, maybe in your neighborhood or at the park. So the mouse was taking a stroll through the woods. Oh, a fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to? Little brown mouse, come have lunch in my underground house. Oh, that's terribly kind of you, Fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Didn't you know? So the fox lives up here in the burrow under the tree. This is a burrow, see, under the tree? It's a hole. That's where the fox sleeps. Hmm. So now the mouse is gonna tell us about the Gruffalo. Ooh, he has terrible teeth. He has terrible tusks. Ooh, tusks. That's a new word. What's a tusk? Let's look. A tusk is a long pointed tooth and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Mouse says, here, by the rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. <gasps> Roasted fox! Oh my, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse, and away he sped. Back whoop, into his burrow. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. I think the mouse tricked the fox. Oh. So the mouse kept walking. You wonder who he'll run into next. On went the mouse through the deep, dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Ooh, where are you going to, little brown mouse? Join me for tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, Owl, but no, I'm going to have tea with the 
gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Didn't you know? Who's going to tell us about the gruffalo some more? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart on the end of his nose. There's another big word. Poisonous. I wonder what that means. Look. Ooh, poisonous. That means something harmful or dangerous. Like a snake can be poisonous. Where are you meeting him? Here, by the stream. And his favorite food is owl ice cream. Woo woo, owl ice cream, to it to woo. Goodbye, little mouse. And away the owl flew. Back into his treetop house. Silly old owl, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo? No, that mouse tricked the owl too. So the mouse kept walking, kept walking. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. Who saw him next? <gasps> a snake! saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Yes, where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. Hmm, a feast? That sounds like fun. Does anyone know what a feast is? A feast is just another word for a big meal. So sometimes if we have a party, for a holiday like Thanksgiving, we might eat a feast. So the snake wants him to come for a feast. Does he really want him to come or do you think he just wants to eat that mouse? It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no. I'm having a feast with a gruffalo. Yes, a gruffalo. A gruffalo, what's a gruffalo? A gruffalo, why didn't you know? Ooh, his eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Yes, where are you eating him? Oh, here, by this lake. And his favorite food is scrambled snake. <gasps> hiss, hiss, scrambled snake. It's time I hide. Yes. Goodbye, little mouse. And away the snake did slide. Went back to his log pile house. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a... <gasps> oh, said the mouse. Because look. Oh, said the mouse. But who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth and his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart. Do you remember that word? Poisonous. On the end of his nose, his eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all down his back. <gasps> oh, help! Oh, no! It's a Gruffalo! It is real. Who saw that coming? Oh, my favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this deep dark wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see everyone is afraid of me. 
Ooh, interesting. Do you think the mouse is telling the truth or do you think he's trying to trick the Gruffalo? Yes? No? Or I don't know. Let's make a prediction. Oh, sure, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You lead the way and I will follow after. Okay, so they're on the path. And the Gruffalo is going to follow the mouse. That's kind of a big word. What do you think that means? Follow. It means to move behind in the same direction. So the mouse is first. The Gruffalo is behind him because he's going to follow the mouse. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, Who? I hear a hiss in the grass ahead. Who could be hissing? Who do you think it is? It's Snake, said the mouse. Why? Snake, hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, oh dear, he said, goodbye little mouse. And he slid right into his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Hmm, amazing, said the Gruffalo. So was the snake really afraid of the mouse or was he afraid of the Gruffalo? Hmm. All right, they kept walking. Who do you think they'll run into next? They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. Hmm. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why Owl, hello. Ooh. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo Boo-hoo, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And flew right up to the treetop house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Hmm, astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear some paws on the path ahead. Who do you think they're going to run into next? It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox? Hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse, and ran right into his underground house. The mouse said, Gruffalo, now you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is starting to rumble and my favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Ha, 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 ha. Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and whoosh, fled. Oh, that's a word I don't know. Fled or to flee. He fled it means to that he ran away from danger. He ran away. Oh, all was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut was good. So look at that. The mouse found a nut to eat. The end. Wasn't that book fun, friends? Okay, now Miss Andy has some questions for you. I'm hoping you can help me answer them. The first question is, remember Mouse went on a stroll in the woods? Who, who did he run into first? Does anyone remember? Who did he run into first? 
Did he run into the fox or the gruffalo first? Remember, he ran into the fox in his burrow under the tree. Good. Who did the mouse run into second or next? Did he run into the snake or the owl next? Oh, that's right. He ran into the owl in the tree. And then what animal did he run into at the log pile house? Third, what animal third? Was it the gruffalo or the snake? You say the snake? That's who he ran into third at the log pile house. Great job. Hmm. What was the mouse doing? What was he doing in the forest? Do you remember? He was walking, wasn't he? He was going for a stroll. And while he was walking through the forest and ran into some friends, where did these friends live? Where? Where did the fox live? Do you remember? He lived in a burrow, which is like a hole under a tree. That's right. Good job. Where did the owl live? Hmm. Where did he live? He lived up in a tall tree. And where did the snake live? Remember? He lived in a log pile. Good job, friends. Okay. Hmm. What did the gruffalo want to do to the mouse? Hmm. Did the gruffalo want to be friends with the mouse? Or did the Gruffalo want to eat the mouse? He wanted to eat the mouse, didn't he? That's right. After he met the mouse, you remember, he decided to follow. He was going to follow the mouse. So where did the Gruffalo walk? Did the Gruffalo walk in front of the mouse or behind the mouse? If you follow someone, you walk behind them. That's right, friends. At the very end, why, this is a hard one, why did the Gruffalo run away from the mouse? Hmm. Remember at the end, he turned and he fled and he ran away from the mouse. Why? Hmm. Was it because the mouse was stinky? Or was it because he thought the mouse wanted to eat him? Hmm, what do you think? Well, did the mouse really want to eat the Gruffalo? Yes or no? Do you think a mouse would really want to eat a Gruffalo? No, no. But do you think the mouse wanted to trick the Gruffalo? Yes. That's right. Good. When they were walking through the woods, all the animals ran away. Remember? They all ran away. And the Gruffalo thought the animals were afraid of the mouse. Were the animals really afraid of that little tiny mouse? Yes or no? Was the snake and the owl and the fox, were they really afraid of a tiny little mouse? No. Remember, he tricked everyone. They were really afraid of that big gruffalo. 
And then at the very, very end of the story, after the Gruffalo ran away, remember he fled, ran away from danger. What did the mouse do at the very end? He went back to the rocks. And what did he do? He ate a nut. He did not eat a Gruffalo. He ate a nut. So at the very end, who tricked the Gruffalo? Was it the snake? No. Was it the owl? No. Was it the fox? No. Who tricked the Gruffalo? It was the little tiny mouse. That's right. Great job, friends. I hope you enjoyed our story today. I can't wait to see you again. Bye.